Hey folks, Reloading Bench with you. And this is actually uh, reloading related for a change based on some of my other more recent projects. So after waiting forever, Mean Loader showed up today. Happy camper. So uh, I'm making this video to uh, help you guys all not do what I did. So uh, read the instructions and if you look at uh, they're pretty straightforward in, in, in terms of place the MA loader with the ammo port facing up before placing rounds in the loader. Slide the thumb ring to the bottom or empty position. So obviously that's your thumb ring and sliding it up is the empty position and you'll see a little projectile come out, a little uh, poly projectile. And uh, so what I did was I opened the package and the first thing that struck me was this looks different so what's this and I'm thinking to myself uh, maybe it's something to help keep things straight I don't know look on the website did the Q scan uh, uh, the uh, QR code scan that's essentially a sales pitch for buying more of these so I thought okay well I'll follow the directions. Slide this up. So this doesn't want to move. And the reason uh, it doesn't want to move, but I'll show you what I did. Held it. And then all of a sudden I had two pieces of the ring in my hand. Obviously you can see my failed attempts to glue this. And I'm thinking, WTF, what just happened? Uh, well, what happened is this should have been taken off first. So actually, that should have been step one, so that you don't damage the thumb ring. And now that I've got a broken thumb ring, which uh, Mean Arms is going to replace, I've already been in touch with them. Um, this isn't mentioned anywhere. So the first thing you want to do is pop this off. And it's on there pretty tight, so when you're first looking at this and never having touched one of these before. This was a WTF moment. And so was this. I thought these were in pieces in terms of uh, snap together, but no. So this will still work. The problem is the ring is meant to keep this from going too far up. So it actually stops right about there where without the ring, you can go a lot farther and this comes out a lot more. So um, when you look at what this is, it is uh, by design a component that has a natural weak point right at the base simply because of how it's made and what it does and me jamming this up with the magazine lock wasn't a good thing. So the idea behind this according to means is if you have this loader full you don't want to accidentally have something hit it and throw the rounds out. So with this when it's intact it essentially hard to do this while looking at the video and you guys and the uh, reloader it essentially, when I do it correctly, so it locks that in place so that the ring can't move. But uh, would have been nice to have something in the instructions of, hey, put your thumb in here and pop this up and out because when I first got this, this felt like it was integral. It didn't feel like a removable part. Kind of like on a PMAG, the, uh, the follower cover. But uh, essentially you're going to take your finger, push that, and then that'll pop off. And now I'm going to go over to one of the uh, big box home improvement stores because I've been trying to do my Instabond and nothing's going to hold this. So uh, because of the design, I'm going to try and 
do like a fiberglass wrap to hold that back in place until I get the new one which should be a, a temp fix may look crappy but may even be stronger than the original so um, pay attention to this pop it off before you do anything with your mean loader so hopefully I can save a few of you from doing this and it happened on the first try so um, what was me take care folks